In episode 6, we examined what orichalcum was made of. Now we look at how it was made and microstructural evidence. Scientific analysis of the yellow ingots matches a technique known as the cementation process, described in later Hellenistic and Roman metallurgical texts. In this method, copper was sealed inside crucibles with zinc-bearing minerals such as calamine along with charcoal. When heated to roughly 900 to 1000 degrees Celsius, zinc vapor formed and slowly diffused into the copper, creating a uniform copper-zinc alloy with a natural golden color. This process required careful control of temperature and oxygen, clear evidence of advanced empirical knowledge of metallurgy. Brass produced this way had clear advantages. It melted at lower temperatures, was more malleable, resisted corrosion, and possessed a striking luster. These qualities likely explain why ancient writers associated orichalcum with beauty, prestige, and even divine splendor. Studies of comparable alpha brass ingots show as-cast dendritic structures typical of slowly cooled metal. The Gila ingots display surface desinsification caused by long submersion at sea, forming copper-rich corrosion layers that protected the metal cores. Importantly, there is no evidence of working or finishing. These were not objects, they were trade ingots cast, standardized and shipped as raw material. Together, the evidence confirms that orichalcum was not accidental, symbolic, or crude. It was deliberately engineered. Follow for part 8.